My name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul of like, like tons of things that I have been finding online. I'm so excited to share with y'all this. Last week, y'all know that I didn't do many videos um, because of the storms that rolled in. And I got so many things through the mail that I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to share with y'all um, all the things that were just coming in. And there was one thing in particular that I just realized that you could buy from Etsy and y'all, it was like game changer for me. And if you follow me on my Instagram page, Simply Lake and Lace, then you already know what I'm talking about. And a lot of y'all were swiping up saying, oh my gosh, I did not know that you could order things like this online. And so y'all were so excited y'all had already started ordering them. And I'll get to that in a minute. But again, if you don't already follow me over there, follow me on Simply Lake and Lace. And then I also have a Facebook page. On my Instagram page, I am so active over there. I'm all the time in my stories over there showing what I'm doing today. Today, you get a glimpse of what I'm getting in the mail as it comes. And then YouTube is just like one big haul of whenever I put it all together. So if you really want to see lots of what's going on with me every day, please follow me over there. This video is just going to be a little um, haul of what I've gotten. I'm going to show you a few things with me just sitting right here. And then I'm going to go around the house and just show you a few other little things um, and where I have placed them. So I'm so excited to share with you all this video today. And I hope that you all really enjoy it. I'm going to try to go through this video as quickly as I can because guess what? It's supposed to storm again today. So we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and start off with the first thing that I know that y'all all want to know what I'm talking about, what you can order from Etsy and online too. Like prom maybe Walmart. I know you can Home Depot, but um, I got these from Etsy. Here it is. You can order plants online. Y'all, I was so excited about this. I don't know about y'all, but I have a Pinterest board whenever I'm seeing plants on Pinterest from an Instagrammer or a YouTuber that I like watching and I see um, a certain plant. I'm like, oh, so I'll go to Pinterest and search it and then I'll pin it and then I'm like, okay, I want to add that to my collection. So this was one of them. Actually, Kayla Friday had this one and I know all of y'all are missing her home tours. But as soon as all this is over, we're going to be doing a spring home tour. We've already been talking, so I'm excited about that. But she had this one, and this one is called a Silver Silk Potho, or either a Silk Silver Potho. I'm not sure. Either way. But I thought it was beautiful. I love the foliage. I love the green, and then the little pops of white. It's such a beautiful green color. And so I was actually able to order this one off of Etsy and it got here like super fast. Like all these ships within like a week. And that if you order these, that that's going to happen for you because I know that like all the UPS and FedEx carriers are super backed up right now. But these got to me really fast. And so how this one came is like wrapped up in a little paper towel and it was just the roots. And so whenever I got it, I had to plant it. But it was perfectly fine. And so I got this one. Love it. And so I planted it put it in my little pot, and then I put it in front of a window, and I cannot wait to see how it thrives because, I mean, it already looks so good. I love this from one. online. These all came from three different companies, and I would add the names on there, but um, they just have like a few plants. It wasn't like one Etsy shop had a ton of plants. So you can just go to Etsy, go to the search bar, and then search in what plants that you want, and then different stores will pop up, and you can pick the cheapest one. So that's what I did. And so this is where... This one I loved. I actually did not know that I wanted this one until I got on Etsy and saw it. I was about to check out and then saw this one and I had to put it in my cart. But this one is called an Angel Wing Begonia. And then I think some of them uh, are even called a Polka Dot Begonia. But you can type in an Angel Wing Begonia. And so I already had this little tea kettle. I got this from the thrift store a while back. And I just planted it in here. I know this is going to get bigger. But for right now, I just put it in here. And it is so pretty. I love the little polka dots on it. I love the foliage. I just think it's gorgeous. And then, um, also, I need to tell y'all that a lot of y'all always ask me, like, where's my holes for the drainage? Well, y'all don't try this um, unless you just want to experiment. But I have became a pro at this. I just know how much to water this, how little to water this, so it doesn't do the root rot. And so, I just give these things a little drink every now and then and perfectly fine and doing really well. So, that is what this one is called. I want to... I was so excited about. I have been wanting this for a little while now, and I knew that I wasn't able to get out and really go on the hunt for it. And so, whenever I found out that you could buy these online, this is the first one that I looked for on Etsy. I called it the String of Hearts, and it's so tiny right now, so you can't really see what it's going to look like. This one came, um, this one and the Angel Wing Begonia came in a little bitty pot, plastic pot, all wrapped up nice and neatly for shipping. And I cannot wait to see how it's going to look. And then I put it in this cute little pot. It looks like very romantic to me. So I thought it was going to be gorgeous. And these like spill over like a string of pearls. So this is the third one I got. These are the only three that I purchased off of Etsy. 
but I got a couple more plants that I wanted to show you. One was at my local plant nursery and then one was from Walmart. Whenever I went to go get a few groceries from Walmart, I went to the plant section and grabbed a few plants. Also. I did not order online. Like I said, I got it at Walmart. Whenever I went to go grab some groceries, I went on into the plant section and I found this guy and I wanted to get him um, off of Etsy. He was going to be my next purchase, but then Walmart had him. So, and he was big. So I went ahead and grabbed him and it's called a Swiss something. I always want to say Swiss cheese because it looks like Swiss cheese, but that's not what it's called. It's a Swiss something. I'll have to look it up. Anyway, but you can see the leaves, how they're cut like this. It looks like Swiss cheese. It's so cute. I love it. So I grabbed this one and I got it in this cute little pot and I don't really have a whole lot of black in my house. So this is a little bit too modern for my house, I think, but I think it's going to work in my office because of the new thing that I purchased that I'll show you in just a minute. But anyway, I thought this one was so cute and I loved it. Also this angel wing begonia, they actually had this one at Walmart too. That was a lot bigger. So I don't know if they have these at your local Walmart or not, but um, they did have the angel wing begonia and the Swiss plant. Um, at my local Walmart. And so, anyway, I am so happy about my new house plants that I get to add to my collection. Okay, so these are not plants, but they're plant-based products. And since they're sitting right here, I'm going to go ahead and grab them and share with all these. And then I'll show y'all other plants that I bought. Thieves hand sanitizer. So, this has been hot, 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 hot on the market lately. They keep selling out super fast. They actually had to make new labels and put them in the uh, newer style bottle just so they could get these out because the bottles that they originally put the these hand sanitizer in the big bottles they don't have and they wanted to get these babies out fast so they redesigned the um bottles and the labels are ready to order so these are from young living and these are i got two big bottles and uh, these are it says on here kills 99.99 percent .99 of germs so these things, like I said, are hot on the market. I don't even know if they're in stock anymore right now, but these, whew, I was so excited. As soon as I heard that these were back in stock, all of us were like, grab, 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 grab. We grabbed them, we were happy. And then it comes with these two little pumps. And then I have like small ones too, so I was gonna empty these into the small ones and let Drew take the small ones to work. But anyway, this has 65% of alcohol in it. And uh, um, these are just really good and they feel so much better. Um, on your skin than that regular like Germex stuff that dries your hands out. This is um, infused with peppermint oil and a moisturizing aloe. So I was excited to grab my Thieves hand sanitizers. Okay, so now we'll go show y'all some more plants. And if you can see back here, I am so excited to share with y'all about this because this is like my new favorite in my office. Well, actually, no, I have three new things. No, four. I have a lot of things that I've added to my office. Go ahead and start on this side of the office. And this is the Young Living Rainstone Diffuser. I've been wanting this for such a long time now. It is so beautiful. Y'all know how much I love black, like black and white. My, my colors are my colors and green, okay? But I loved this one. And this is an air ionizer, which means that it purifies the air. And I just love it. It is so slick looking. And so I put it in here in my office. And I thought it would be really good at, because it was an air ionizer also. This is where I keep a lot of my plants in the little windowsill over here that I'll show you in a second. And it, um, it's like not really where I propagate a bunch of my plants, but it's where I really get them going in here. So I thought it'd be great to have this one in here. Then it comes with a remote. You can have it on a one hour setting or a, all the way up to a six hour setting. It has the mist, the ionizer, and then the LED control. And so I just thought it was so pretty in here. And I have that sitting over here. So that is another one of my things that I ordered online. That got to me and I was so excited about because I just loved it and I've been wanting it for a while and I wanted to collect like one of each of Young Living's diffusers. And so this one is a diffuser and a humidifier and it is so pretty. And so this one actually comes in a starter kit. You can get this with a whole kit and it's a lot better of a deal. So if you're interested in that, please message me at simplylakeandlace at yahoo.com and I will be so glad to help you out with that. And then there's also a link down below in the description box where I will be putting some um, links in on a few places where I've purchased some of these items. So anyway, this is the rainstone from Young Living. Over here is where I'm talking about where I kind of get all my plants started. So this one used to be in my dining room. I have the cactus. I have the string of hearts. 
I can't remember what that's called. I think it's like a polka dot something. I have some English ivy. I have string of pearls, a succulent, and I don't know what this is. Um, but it's been propagating for a while now, and I finally put it back in some dirt. And we're seeing how that goes. My friend Lacey from Petals gave me this. So, I got three things in there. I know I don't know of anybody that does that, but I did it, and it's working. And then I have this Silk Silver Potho. And then this, I'm not sure what this one is. Um, this one my cousin Caleb told y'all before. She got it from her mother, her grandmother's funeral. And Kayla used to not be a green thumb. Now she's got tons of plants in her home, and they're doing great. They're thriving. They're beautiful. But this one was kind of dying, so I got it from her and was bringing it back to life. And then this one is a succulent that I got from a local plant nursery, and it is just gorgeous. It looks like a ring that I need to have on my finger that I need to show y'all. I'll go get that in Let's a minute. Let's talk about over here this space now. Oh my gosh, I love this. I need to cut this one off. Okay, so if y'all remember in my office video or I can't remember, there was a video where I wanted a betta fish and I did a little research and I got one and I love him. So, meat petals. It's a boy and he is actually a platinum rose petal betta fish and I thought he was so cute I loved him Addison actually got one too and hers is a I wish I could remember the name of hers because it was hilarious we did not look at the names of them and whenever we got them we was reading all about them and she was like of course you would get a platinum rose petal and I would get a uh Dumbo half moon betta fish so that was the name of Addison's was a Dumbo half moon so we were cracking up Anyway, she named hers Kai, and I named mine Petals, and he is so cute, and I need to clean out his fish tank, so I probably will do that today, but I just have this little elephant ear in here. It was actually planted in dirt, and I took it all out, washed the roots off, and then just put it in here in the fish bowl, and it's doing really good besides this little guy that was already kind of dying whenever I got him, and I just put some rocks on the bottom, and then I just have his fish food and this little um, shaker that I got um, from Dollar General, and so... I loved that. I thought that was so cute, and I just love him. And then, if you already know, then betta fish cannot have friends in their container because they will fight. Look, he's hiding. He's camera shy. So, a sweet friend of mine that is um, a YouTube subscriber and follows me on Instagram. Her name is Ida, and she sent me this statue head, and I named her Victoria, and this is Beta's friend. So, they're best buddies, and they love each other so much, and she is precious. I just love her, and then I also got this little, I don't know what this is, but it feels like a little mossy plant, but I got this from Petals from the Past, and it looks like she has an afro, and this makes me so happy, this little setup. It's so sweet. This is just a box of things that I got from Young Living, but... Anyway, I love, oh, there's, I need to clean up in here. What is that? I don't know. Anyway, but I think that is so cute over here. So now when I'm sitting over here working, I have my little fish and Victoria to talk to and keep me company back here because sometimes I am back here late, late at night. So it's nice to have some friends back Next here. thing that I got was this plant. And this is some sort of an elephant ear and I loved it. Um, I need to cut this one off right here because it died. I don't know what happened to it, but... I mean, you can tell whenever I got it, it was already kind of falling apart. So, I need to cut that one off. But, I got this cute little basket from Petals from the Past. They have lots of cute little baskets like this. And, um, like I said, this Elephant's Air, I loved this green color. So, I just popped it down here. Once I cut that off, if I would have cut that off before the video, then you would have thought it was really cute. But, it's just a beautiful plant that I have sitting here in my office. I got... Um, so before the storms came through, I already had a rug that I got from Petals from the Past and I absolutely loved it and was setting up under a picnic table outside. Um, you can watch my, um, outdoor project video that I have. I'll do it in the cards right here. But it, um, got destroyed during the tornado that we had that came through or straight line winds. I don't really know. I still haven't figured out what that was that came through here and wrecked our community. But... I had saw this rug, if you follow Carly Gale Bowman, I've talked about her before on my channel, I just love her stuff, and she had this rug on her um, front porch, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this, because again, I love the color black, and I had a black and white striped umbrella that got broke during the storms, and they don't have one at our local Walmart anymore, so I think I'm going to have to order it online. Anyway, that's beside the point. So, she had this rug, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous, I want that. I was like, please be less than $100. So, I went and looked, and of course it was, and I was like, oh, but I really just don't need it because I already have a rug. But, 
Then, the very next day, the tornado or whatever came through and flipped our picnic table over, broke my umbrella, and shredded our rug to pieces. So, Drew said, because before we left, I told Drew, I said, do we need to grab our umbrella and put it down? He said, no, it's not going to get that bad because it was rolled down. Well, then whenever he came home to change clothes to go to work, he came back to tell me bye because we were staying night at his mom and dad's house. And he came back to tell me bye and he said, uh, your umbrella is destroyed. <laughs> and I was like, what? He said, yep, flipped our picnic table over. Y'all, I cannot believe that because our picnic table is so heavy. I did not realize it was going to get that bad here. So, I was a little upset about it until I heard how bad that everything else was around here and how lucky that we were. That was the only damage that happened to our house. So, I got over it. And Drew was like, we'll get you another umbrella. Anyway, so whenever I decided um, I was getting the new umbrella and replacing some of that stuff um, later that week, I was like, oh, I'm going to go get that rug. Made up for that. And I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Um, I got this from Target. I'll link this down below. But I just think... It is so pretty, and I love the black, so this will be sitting under my picnic table, and then I have some terracotta pots on the picnic table with some herbs on it, and then my black and white striped umbrella that I got to order, but I thought it was really pretty, and I loved it, so let's move along. I haven't put that back outside yet because, like I said, it's supposed to storm again today, so I'm waiting until this little tornado season of ours passes before I start putting all my nice things back outside. So, another thing that Miss Ida sent me, she sent me the statue head, and then she also sent these over. She has a local friend that makes these soaps, and so she sent me an oatmeal one and then a lavender one. And these are actually made from all natural ingredients and then Young Living Essentials is what she told me. So, I'm so excited that she sent these to me and get to try these out. They're so pretty. I love hand, handmade soaps, especially whenever they're made all natural. So, I cannot wait to try those. I'm going to put those in my bathroom and they'll be pretty displayed in there too. Here in the dining room, this is another little thing that I did. I need to add something else to my dobo because my apples um, got nasty. But, I had that one... I cannot remember what it's called. Um, anyway, it was in here. If you look back on my spring home tour. But I got these begonias. And they were doing really good outside. So, I decided to bring them. Um, just keep them inside. And put these in this little pot. And Petals from the Past has like tons of these different colors. And so, they're really good for your front porch. They're a shaded plant. And they get a lot of um, natural sunlight right here. And I thought they were so cute. I love this little pop of light pink. Y'all know I don't love pink that much in a lot of color, but I just thought this was so cute and it matches Darla's little um, apron over there. So that is new. So this technically I did not order, but my cousin Camille sent it to me and I thought it was the sweetest and it was so laying here. So I'm going to share with y'all. So she sent me the sweetest little card. She said, because she misses us, she sent me a long little note and I love this. This was so sweet of her. And she sent me these beautiful earrings that I think are so pretty. They're wooden. I don't have any wooden earrings. So these are gorgeous. And then she's also sent me um, a seed packet and she sent a lot of her friends this just as a little I miss you and I thought it was so sweet. This is like the sweetest thing ever and so I cannot wait to plant these. So that is what I got from Camille. I'm already showing y'all some jewelry I was going to show y'all. I got these at our little local um, antique shop and so they've been posting pictures on Instagram and then you could do a curbside pickup and so um, these they had and they are like little leather earrings and I love putting my oils behind these. But these are so pretty. I love the design on them. Y'all excuse my bed. I have not made it up today. And then also from Russet Relics, I got this ring that is gorgeous. And it's like a little rose ring. And it was so pretty. I just had to have it. Let me go show you uh, why I ended up getting these. Y'all well, know that I'm loving me some roses and some antique roses now. So I had to have this ring. It is so pretty. And then I saw these little succulents. And they look just alike. So I had to get these little guys. So, that again, this came from Rustic Relics and my earrings. Okay, another thing that I wanted to show y'all that came from Young Living, and they had their spring bundle. And so, I ordered everything that they had for their spring launch. And I got this cute little cup. It's a little tea cup. And it's so cute. And it says tea time on it. Um, tea time is your time is what it says. And then also, they have new teas now. And I had one of these... Um, the other night, and oh my gosh, it was so relaxing. It tasted so good. I had this one. Three new teas that they have to offer. They have this one, the orange rose, and the vanilla lemongrass. And then I just use this to make my tea with. I actually boil my water and this little guy that I love. And then I'll pour it in here. 
and then let it steep and it is so good and I love it and I know that it's so good for me and so love these new teas that Young Living came out with and then also something else Young Living came out with their spring launch is this. So over here I used to use my Thieves um, hand soap. Uh, I gotta order some more though because I'm out but until then and for now I'm gonna be using my Luscious Lemon Foaming Hand Soap. This stuff smells so good so it comes with a full bottle of this and then this averages about $3 a bottle because it comes with a full bottle and you dump two-thirds of it out into a mason jar. So you have a third of this left in here and fill the rest of the water. Use it all up and then you have um, three more uses out of this. So again, this averages about $3 a bottle once you dilute it. These are highly concentrated hand soaps and so they last a very long time just whenever you get one and this one smells so good and it has the cute little lemons on it and for summer i had a few little lemon things so i was going to add some more lemon stuff to my home decor in the kitchen so this was perfect and i think it's so cute there so i grabbed some of those okay so this is the last thing that i got that i'm gonna, that i'm going to share with y'all today so this is actually a beautiful necklace that i got from petals from the past they have lots of these they have one that has a bee a butterfly and I've been eyeballing this one for a while now, and it's on a little gold chain. And I think it's just so pretty and dainty, and the little coin necklaces are so popular right now. And so they actually have a lot of these, and I'm planning on going to Petals from the Past and showing y'all what's in their gift shop, because you can actually call in a place in order. They don't have a gift shop online, but if I go in and do a video and y'all see something that y'all cannot live without and you can't make it to the store, then you can actually call and say, hey, I want to get this, and they can have it shipped to you. So, I thought about going to do just a little video there of things that I've become that I have loved and bought from there and obsessed with uh, or things that I want to buy from there that I haven't yet. So, this little coin necklace has a rose on it and I have been wanting it for a while. Now, whenever I went to go purchase one, I was like, which one do I want to get? And I was debating between the bee and the butterfly and then they had the rose and just other ones and I was like, uh, I don't know, but I just went for the rose. I was like, oh, I already had the rose ring, but... Um, I just went ahead and went for the rose because I have been eyeballing the rose one the whole time. Now, they only have one of each color, so they, this is the only one that they had in the gold. They have one, I think, that's silver, but hold off on ordering these right now because, like I said, I need to go to the gift shop and see what's even there. So, go follow me on Instagram if you're wanting one of these and wanting more of a tour of the gift shop because I'm planning on doing that this week. Um, so, I'm going to go there and um, I got to go into work and so i'm going to go in there and film a little things in the gift shop and then show y'all what we have available so if you go follow me on instagram at simply lake and lace then you'll be able to see what's available and you can actually message me right then if you want to and i can um, put it back for you and then we can get it shipped to you and if not you can call in and place an order so again this is the only one that they had like this i believe we still have a silver one left but i don't know so i'm going to go in and then i'll let y'all know but i had to share with y'all that because i think it's so pretty i loved it this is the um let's see i was going to show you the label i don't know i think it says bella uh vita maybe b e l l a v i t t a that might be the brand of it Anyway, but I can go show you the tags and stuff that's on them there. But like I said, I just loved this. It is so pretty and dainty. And I loved the rose. So, that is one of the last things. Oh, Lord, I forgot that I got this. So, whenever I got the rug, you can do a Target pickup order. So, they can ship you things from Target. Or you can do, if it's in your local store, you can do a pickup order and go buy. And they'll bring it out to you curbside. So, I actually grabbed this little guy too. Along with a few other things I cannot remember um, but I wanted to show you all this because my measuring cups had messed up the, I had the, um, just the basic ones from Walmart where it had the red measuring, uh, labels on it. And this one came from, um, Hearth and Hand Collection and it is so pretty and it is, um, very sturdy feeling, very thick glass. So I grabbed this one too because I definitely needed one of these because I could not even read my measuring cups anymore. So I grabbed one of those. Okay, y'all. So I hope that y'all enjoyed my little haul for the day. I had lots of fun things to share with y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments below what was the most favorite thing that I purchased. And let me know if y'all knew that you could order plants online. Again, I know for a fact you can get them from Etsy and I know for a fact you can get them from Home Depot because Carly Gail Bowman, she shows that you can get them from there all the time and they just ship them to you. It's so crazy. I love it. Anyways, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these kind of videos. More online hauls um, coming up soon and I just wanted to share with y'all things that I have been finding online because we're not able to get out and go shopping. Don't forget to check out the description box below. I will have my Young Living linked. I'll have my Amazon shop. I'll have Petals from the Past 
linked. I will have my email linked for if you have any questions at all. I also have my Instagram and Facebook linked below. And like I said, please don't forget to follow me over there. Y'all, this weekend, I hope that y'all have a great rest of your week and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.